Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show right here is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Wednesday, May 17th. We're already halfway, past halfway through May. Super excited. Got some amazing news to talk to you about today, as well as we're going to discuss uh, some bare bones ways that you can get your first voiceover jobs okay if you're just starting out trying to get your four, uh, first jobs we're going to talk about that today real quick i want to take a moment to make sure you hit that like and subscribe button also check out avio's journey elite academy we're offering 50 percent off the first month where you can come to learn how to start and grow your voiceover business with live coaching archives pre-recorded courses and a fantastic community we'd love for you to check it out uh that link's below all right real quick great news so academy voices which is our online casting website for voice actors uh, for Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We just booked uh, a new job through Pocket FM for one of our voice actors, Louis Moronis. We're really excited and proud of him for a, a big audio series. So really thrilled for that. And I just thought I'd share that with you because it's really cool <laughs> to get other people, you know, to, to help other voice actors get work as well, uh, which is what Academy Voices is all about. Uh, and again, Academy Voices is a place where we help voice actors who are in Avio's Journey Elite Academy to give voiceover work. Uh, so anyways, that's because uh, I wanted to start something to help our students actually get work uh, and not just learn about voiceover, but actually, you know, get paid to do voiceover. So anyways, let's go. So with that in mind, we're talking about getting voiceover jobs. Let's go ahead and talk about some bare bones things that you can do getting uh, or starting right off the bat to get voiceover work. Now, I'm just going to make some quick, quick assumptions, right, that the assumptions are that you have a space to record in. You have some recording equipment and that you have been working on acting and, you know, you can record a file, edit it, master it and deliver a professional sounding voiceover. OK, so that's that's I got I'm assuming that because that has to come first. OK, but let's say we're there. And by the way, on a side note. You know, that grows over time. So, you know, you don't have to be perfect to get started by in which case none of us are perfect. So, you know, I'm kind of once you have that ready, you need to get you need to get started because you're going to get better over time. But anyways, with all that being said, some of the bare bones things that you need to do is, of course, you need to have a demo. But one demo is not enough. I mean, the reality is you need multiple demos to put yourself out there because the big thing that you want to start off first is, and the hardest thing for voice actors or businesses in general is being seen, right? People knowing you exist. The more people know you exist, know what you do and what you offer, the more opportunities or chances you're going to get to get voiceover work, right? So that's your goal at first is to create a portfolio of work and then to get that work out in front of as many people as possible who are looking for voiceover jobs. OK, so getting out, let's let's talk about some places that I like to start people off with and what I work on uh, with our people in our academy. And by the way, what I'm what I teach is not the same as what other people teach, right? So that's why it's always important when you are looking to work with uh, a, an individual coach or a an academy, you know what I mean, or, or a group, you know, that you're looking to work with, you know, you just do do your research and see, you know, if that matches what you what you're looking for. So so what we so what I teach is I like to do like a three a three phase approach, because the first phase, I want to get you, like I said, once you have those other things in place, get you making some money. And the best way to do that is to piggyback off of places that are already spending tons of money on um, advertising, marketing, driving hot or warm traffic, warm leads to their website, looking for voice actors already. Okay. And these are the freelance websites. These are intermediary websites. These are pay to play websites. All right. So we know websites like Voquint and like People Per Hour and like ACX and like Upwork and like Fiverr. All right. Um, the you know, these places that are are free for you to get your 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 stuff on. That's a great place to start. You know, intermediary sites, 
um, like Voice Jungle. I mean, you could say Vo Voquin is an in intermediary site, which an intermediary site is basically uh, a site like Academy Voices. That's a, um, but you, in order to be an Academy Voices, you need to be in a Vio's Journey Elite Academy. But to you know the the intermediary means like you know you're on that site, and the people who run the casting website or agency, you know what I mean? They they work with the client and then give you the work, you do the work, give that, you know what I mean? There's like an intermediary. There's a person in the middle that's there to look out for your best interests and things like that. Um, and then, of course, the pay-to-play sites like Voices.com, um, Voice123. You've got, what is it, Badago. You've got uh, Voice Realm. Um, these are the sites where you pay a yearly monthly or yearly fee to get auditions and you know you can get work that way and sometimes they deal with the work or you deal with the work directly with the client okay um but you pay to basically use those sites um so anyway so those are the places that you want to go first i recommend i know this sounds daunting but i recommend that you need to build up to 15 or 20 different demos, one spot demos, reels, okay, places like Vogue, I mean, they ask you, they, they allow you to put on 45 demos, one spot demos, and then, you know, six reels, right, which have more than one spot on them, could have four, five, six spots, right, because the more you put out there, the more opportunities you have to be seen, so remember, if you just have one demo, that's a great place to start, but there's a lot of specific genres and voiceover that you want that you can market to. Like, you know, there's commercial work. There's a variety of commercial work, right? There's social media ads. There's TV ads. There's radio ads. Okay. Um, then you have, uh, well, let's just pick a whole nother niche, audiobooks, right? You've got fiction, nonfiction. This is completely different genre. Right, and you know you wouldn't target either of those draw uh, uh, genres with a, with the those specific demos to those genres, right? So you're going to want to have different ones because remember diversity is really going to help you make sure that you can start making an income. And here's the thing, it might take you longer to break into one field or one genre and voiceover and it might take you less time to break into another so if you don't spread your wings out there you might never find the niche that you enjoy and that the um the market enjoys from you all right and you might kind of just get be like god i can't do vo you know, voiceover just doesn't work when in reality is you want to get yourself in as, as many places as you can with as many different demos and samples as you can logically that brings back to you know the how to which is you definitely need to, it's, a, it's great to work with professionals. Like, you know, I offer demo services. So many other people offer demo services. But even myself, even I, because I, I, I try to charge less than most people so that I can make sure that, you know, a lot of new people and stuff can afford to get a demo. But even what I charge, for you to do 15, 20, 30 of those demos, I mean, it would bank, you know, you, you'd go bankrupt before you started. So, you know, you want to work with a professional, get a good commercial demo, things like that. But also you're going to have to start to learn how to create yourself, okay, to learn to create these yourself down the road, um, you know, watching DIY tutorials. But the more you the more you record and the more you learn how to mix music and stuff, it will get easier. But the key is, is for you to start creating content, getting them up on these websites so that the websites are ta are spending all the money and time and effort marketing for you, driving traffic to you so that you have that, because that's another part, kind of like in, when we get to phase two in the academy stuff, so that's what we, we work on is then learning how to drive your own traffic, right, which gives you more control, but that's a whole nother piece of this business that that's quite frankly challenging. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's just, I wanted to share that with you, you know, when you're first getting started out, and you've got all those other things, like I talked about your space, your recording equipment, you know, you being able to record and, and edit master a, a high quality professional sounding voiceover file then you are ready to get yourself up on websites get you know when you can get demos and reels completed okay do you need background music in them it, it's always going to make it better okay because like i always say icing on a cake all right it makes the cake better but 
the cake itself needs to be good because no amount of icing is going to cover up a crappy cake because when you bite into it, it's going to taste nasty. So it is really important for you to make sure that the acting is at the heart of it. Now, when I first started, I did spend about two, two and a half years with no no um, background music on any of my demos. I didn't get a great deal of work. I got work, but a lot of my work was in areas where you don't usually do background music, like audiobooks, like e-learning. You know what I mean? Uh, court, you know, these places where uh, I, I wasn't, you know, there there weren't commercially based. They weren't um, places that were uh, using a lot of background music. But as I built that other part of it and, and started being able to add background music and stuff like that and working with professionals, I was able to then start getting more of that other work. And that's OK, too. But, but the thing is, is you've got to build these demos, reels, and get them on these freelance websites, intermediary websites, and pay-to-play websites, okay? The pay-to-play websites also allow you to audition. You can audition on them. That's great. But get yourself out there to as many eyeballs that are specifically searching for voiceover as possible. And the easiest, fastest way at first is to utilize these websites that are spending millions and millions of dollars monthly to market, Okay. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We'd love to have you. Uh, and, and you know, and when, when you get into Avio's Journey Elite Academy, that's when you start to have access to the Academy, Academy Voices. You know, we, we, we kind of go through a process with you to make sure that you're up to par for it. But, you know, we'd love to have you uh, be a part of our community. So thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.